Hey, I'm just doing a little collaging, y'all. This is my first video, trying to collage with a video running. And yeah, I've got this mushroom obsession going on here. So I wanted to continue that because, well, we love mushrooms, right? I mean, if you don't love eating mushrooms, then uh, at least you uh, like looking at them. Because they're fascinating things. They're creatures. They're, they have an intelligence. They communicate underground in underground networks. I watched this documentary. Just Google, like, or Ecosia or DuckDuckGo. Do a search for um, mushroom documentary. And uh, if you want to get really informed about the mushroom. And how it's not only changing how we view nature, but it's changing how we deal with pain. It's changing how we... It's like they're a metaphor for us. Um, there's compassion in the mushroom. There's danger. There's everything that nature is. Dangerous, compassionate, brutal, beautiful. Um, everything that we are by virtue of being part of nature. So I've got some mushroom caps. And then I went to a kaleidoscope museum in um, Kyoto. I just stumbled upon it, and it was just this museum full of kaleidoscopes. And I took a postcard and cut these kaleidoscopes out. And it kind of, uh, to me, it looked like top-down, sort of like mushroom caps, kind of mixing the idea of like the psychedelic experience of a mushroom with just the visual experience of a mushroom. And... Uh, but really, I like the side view a lot right now. This says butter in Japanese. Uh, Hokkaido butter. I bought these candies. Um, and this was the ticket that came with that. So, um, and then this is just some scraps. So, and yeah, I've got all kinds of stuff going here. I've got smiley face stickers. I've got, of course, Mario and Luigi are going to factor into this at some point. Because, you know, they love mushrooms. Like, like me, like we all do. I've got this holographic Michael Jackson, which I tried to cut into a mushroom, but it's just in progress here. Um, I cut this out of like a vintage Glico, like um, fruit candy package, which I kind of think looks like a mushroom. Uh, while we're on the topic of mushrooms, I just wanted to show one of my, I've got this mushroom motif going. Um, on one of my Traveler's Papers, Traveler's Notebooks. Um, I'll give you a better view of that later. I just wanted to kind of show you like how the mushroom love is developing right now. I've got this one, Good Mushroom. That's from the Glico. Um, and it's got fruits, like five fruit flavors from a vintage candy box. And then I've also got, you know, more mushrooms happening. Just to give you an idea of the mushroom love that we're loving. So, I know it's not a good shot, but, you know, we're doing the best we can here. Just getting started and with the video vibes. But I love the contrast of colors with this one. And uh, I'm just sort of thinking, hey, you know, maybe this could work. I kind of want a more stout. Yeah, like a more stout. Mm. Hmm, I haven't found that yet. I mean, can Mario do it? Or Luigi? Well, I don't know why it's not. Um, I've even got these, like, little stickers of, like, Japanese grocery products. Oh, that's kind of cute. Because um, mushrooms can grow in many different locations. It's kind of like a lotus in this context. I think of it as, like, um, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. And it still preserves the baka moment. Um, I think I like that. glue that together and then I'll show you guys how it turns out. How it can overlap sometimes is nice. And uh, I've got this like trash. Because mushrooms just they're organic shapes but they're also like huh, that's 
very pretty. I know that's so many. Like, yeah. I used them on this other notebook, but then, like, I didn't end up using that notebook, so I just cut them out. And now I'm using that notebook as, like, scrap paper. Um, I feel that if I just kind of curve into it, it almost like works every time. And, uh, yeah, I'm not talking very much here, but, yeah, I got some cool stuff going on. Like, this gonna, something's gonna happen with this eventually. Like, I almost thought it looked like a mushroom already, or he did, um, in this picture, but there's something unresolved about it, where there's something, it just hasn't found its place yet. Um, and I even thought about, like, having, like, a top-down moment. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, why don't I move on now to, I got these, uh, postcards I got at the beginning of the song. And the theme for the postcards, I'm sending them back to the States, the family, and to some people in Japan. Um, I'm, the theme was, here's one of the postcards. The theme of the postcards, for me, I was, co I'm collaging on the other side, instead of writing a message, and I wanted to communicate positive messages. And I've got all these, like, stationery I've been collecting, and I've been... Um, and I'll show a um, slideshow at the end of this of all of the completed collages. But I wanted to send positive vibes, not so much in a holiday theme, because the holiday is conflicted in terms of, like, Christmas and, you know, just sort of that whole, the Santa I idea to me that doesn't communicate positivity in the way that I, that feels right to me. And so I wanted to just take this time in the season where I have some time off and people are spending time at home and have something that doesn't clutter someone's house, but maybe clutters their fridge a little bit with some art that I made just for them and to share my experience of, you know, spending time alone and also my experience of going to this gallery in Japan and using, you know, seeing the photography and um, just beautiful photography that I enjoyed it um, in Kyoto by myself and yeah I wanted to communicate that so one thing is I did I did many but one of them that I didn't use was this one it says uh, Itsumo always 100% misunderstood and it's got like a picture of you know some stickers from Mario and it's like Bowser's misunderstood he's like I'm misunderstood but this wasn't positive enough because the, it didn't go with the theme, so I kind of let this one go. But I'm thinking what I want to do now is take this. Um, this is a picture of Jean-Paul Sartre, 1946. And I love it. And I might just keep this one, whatever I collage on the back of here. But I wanted to stay with the theme of positivity, even though he's an existentialist philosopher. I had this sticker, and I just kind of put this... Um, on the back. I wish I'd put it a little bit higher, but actually I'm going to make it work. It's going to be dope. So yeah, I want to just work on that a little bit. Yesterday I went to a new stationery store that I'd never known about and got this glue. It said permanent on it, so I thought that was great. And it's glue tape because the last one I got kind of fumbled and didn't quite work. So what I wanted to do here is... Um, a separate project I think I wanted him to be looking and he looks in this place and he finds like a trove of awesome stuff so how I'm gonna do that is I think using these it's like he looks at the skeletons looking in a tr he finds this treasure chest but he finds like fresh food and like stuff that shouldn't be you know, in there. So I'm thinking like, this is popsicles. That looks pretty fresh to me. Um, this is milk. That's hilarious. Bread. I love bread. Um, like fresh meat. Like, I don't know. Japanese stuff might be kind of dope because it's like natto. 
wasabi and yeah maybe this is me this skeleton guy is me because he's choosing from the grocery store what he would like to see in this trove of you know i mean i don't eat meat right now but i think it's beautiful and the way that it's presented in japan is so amazing cabbage that'd be funny i don't know it's hard to choose negi so iconic um Let's see. I think I'm going to start with... Maybe I can remove this sticker and put, replace it. Yeah, I can. Dope. Okay, I think I'm going to put it like right there. But first, before I replace it, I want to do a background. So I try to leave, like, this is the stamp, and this is the address. So I'm going to try to leave. This is the background, whatever, the forest. And then he's digging underground to find, like... He's going to dig under there. To find, I feel like Bob Ross right now. I've never done this before where I recorded it. It's like rude in Japan to like breathe out like that. Like, like people told me, they're like, oh, that's rude. Or we like joke about it. It's like, oh, Blake, are you bored? You know, I'm like, no, I'm just breathing out. Actually, I do feel stressed. You want to talk about it? It's like, mm, no. <laughs> Oh, man. And one thing I realized is, like, layering with stuff, you know, it's always, if even if it, like, right now it looks terrible to me, but, like, even so, I feel like you can always layer more and more, and it just looks good, because, you know, your eye doesn't catch, like, doesn't catch so much the uh, individual strokes. I'm just making, like, broad strokes. And I feel like this is going to be, um, the darkest is here. I'm going to like get fumes from this. like digging underground, you know? Um, okay, where did my guy go? I lost my dude. I lost my stick. Oh, there he is. It's gonna be like that. Like that. Okay. It has to be like trees though, cause uh Alright, I'm gonna add I feel like there needs to be more integrity to the This time that I spend doing this, like, it's always just, you know, the past couple weeks especially, it's just been so relaxing and... The earth is just so umami, kind of, that sounds pretentious, but it's like, earth is like every color, you know, black is every color mixed together, so it's not even just like... It's like PB and J, like to the extreme black earth, you know, brown. It's like earth is both black and brown because it's like every light color mixed together and every um, like paint color mixed together, black and brown. Can you see that? Okay. 
Put some green in there. Green. Now that I think about it, maybe I could have made like a little hobble here. Uh, it's okay. It's fine, I think. I can always just paste some paper on there. Um. Yeah, so why don't I... I guess I should put the stickers last. I think these will make some good... These here, I think will make some good, like, trees in the background. Let's do that. friend of mine recommended that I start sharing what I do on YouTube and I've been trying to um because I watch YouTube a lot so I want to like make content not just consume it and you know I've got kind of an interesting life at least to some people I think I uh you know I live in Japan and I'm single, so I have a lot of time on my hands. I like art, and I like uh, stationery, especially in Japan, and collaging it, and I like uh, food, and I like um, meishinjin, like in Japan, like superstitious things. But I don't think of them as superstitious, but it's like, you know, esoterics, and, and uh, you know, like... What if I did some trees? Yeah, let's do some trees to like complement these. And then we'll put these in later. And I'll leave John Paul Sartre there. These are like background trees. And I feel like the black one is like uh the more straight. <laughs> I don't know why. And then darker green. This is like grass leaves. And it kind of obscures the gesture, the straight sort of gesture with the uh, and I feel like it's not dark enough. Yeah, maybe I'll just fill in this. marker like mixes kind of melds it together and I'm trying not to be precious about any of these markers or stuff it's just for me to use and enjoy so okay and uh maybe like brown pen yeah pretty dark so I'm trying not to like be too like general about it. And why not just like while I'm at it. resolve or integrate the white space a little bit better.
but way in the background, there's some wiki woods. I'm thinking of like Lord of the Rings right now. So he stumbles upon this like trove of goods, maybe under a mushroom. That's kind of dope. What would you like find? Like, oh, at the end of the rainbow? I feel like there's something that he finds. He like finds, well in this he like finds a, let me just start putting down some, let's put some foliage down here. just found like a bundle of bushes I'm being so precious with this glue stick though because I tried not to mess it up like I did yesterday or the day before like I borked I don't know if that's a word but I borked uh oh uh, yeah it's like a gamer word And, uh, I messed up a whole, like, one of these plastic glue tape things. And I've lost my... bush. Can't have gone far, right? Hmm. Oh, just found this smiley face. Um, <laughs> no, I like the sticker too much. Let's see. Huh, where is it? What time is it? My sock. I have to show you. I just spent all this time looking for it. It's on my sock. Dope. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, I always like check like which side. It's toward that. Always toward that. Okay. Should it be here? Or like here? Oh, yeah, he like saw this like grove of little plants and he's like, what? And he stumbles into this little trove of like um, goodies. How do I indicate that it's a trove, underground trove of goodies? Maybe I should put like, I need to like indicate that it's lighter colored cause it's like hollowed out. Um, like this Mother's Day thing, but that, what about like,
like a cube. Ah, I know. I'll use some of these existing, like, paper, because I just cut these up. Yeah, I'll turn that into, like, a little hollow... I'm thinking of, like, a hollowed-out, like, square cube. Um... Not too big. Like that. Maybe like. And then kind of like. Like he finds it. Oh. Ah, oh, like that. Maybe like that. Sure. Okay, and then I'll, uh, it'll make it a little more dusty. You, like, found it. Like, uh, found, like, this underground room. Reminds me of, like, RPGs from when I was a kid. Like, you find, like, a treasure chest. But it's gonna be... this little dusty room full of like fresh vegetables and stuff but he's like a skeleton so like what does he care you know but that's the point i guess i'm the skeleton <laughs> and then uh maybe like a yellow White, really. White does not serve my purposes here. It's raining. Um, it's treasure. So maybe a little what? I mean, it's kind of exciting. Add some gold. Uh, it's like a gold room. A little shine. A little shine here. Get my shine on. Good. It says sausage, which I love. Not that I love... I mean, I, I love the flavor of sausage, but at this point it just makes me sick. Yeah. What about like that? He's like looking at it like that. Cool. Don't doubt myself. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching this video. some good stuff in there. He found Indian curry, or at least curry inspired by a man with a turban, or with the branding of that. He found, let's see, yeah, this is kind of This is pretty fun. He found some anchovies or some saba, I think that's uh, some fish. Um, yeah, maybe I should go for stuff that is like last forever. Um, not do this whole like, oh, it's ha ha ha. It's like vegetable, you know, it's like fresh meat. Yogurt, ew. That'd be gross if you found that some milk but maybe he's like a skeleton so he like wants some rotten milk it's so big though um meat i mean it's pretty cool looking sure why not who cares chikua 
I kind of like these, like, ones that are, like, I don't even really know what they are. I just kind of assume. I'm gonna use this meat. Why not? You know, when you live overseas, or just in general, I think during this, like, season, you just want to connect with people, and sometimes, like, on a Zoom call or something, I just, like, maybe don't have much to say, or at least I can't express. Like, this is a way of me being able to express my love. Just, like, that's really what you want to get across, and the way it's done over the holidays traditionally is you fight to show your love, or you just spend boring time together doing nothing, and that's a beautiful thing that I don't have access to right now and it's not because I don't love them it's just because I'm having this certain experience at this point and after COVID and you know all it's just like restricted travel even more and especially just in my head you know I probably could but financially and everything it's just I really like this one though and the eggs oh, I don't know I'll cut them out while I'm talking but um yeah get this even Cool, watch, fun to watch. It's like boring, this whole video. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's... My way of just... Because, you know, these postcards take time and I'm thinking about them. And it's like I'm spending that time now thinking about people I love and... Thinking about my country, you know, like, you don't really th think about your country, maybe. Or at least, like, when you watch the news or something, you're thinking about your country. And then it's a lot of negativity, I think. And so, yeah, I just, I'm thinking about identity and where you come from. And because sometimes there's, like, intercultural differences and you kind of feel like, I not isolated necessarily, but just, like, Just sort of like, different, other, you know, especially in Japan, I think, or maybe in Asia in general, there's just sort of this, I'm a Western person in Japan, and you know, it's, I don't think labels are particularly useful, but it's like, you know, just listening to the uh, psychoanalyst Robert A. Johnson, you know, his stories and mythology and Carl Jung anecdotes and stuff like that. But he talks about, you know, Western people in Asia and the difference between Asia and India and how, like, I don't know, it's like, it's like uh, how India is, like, emotion, emotional-oriented with, like, you know, they always feel connected and uh, to, they never feel alone. Because, like, we, as Americans, we feel, you know, ego-based or individual, you know, good and bad of that. We are, we're, we're all Steve Jobs, we're all Mark Zuckerberg, you know, we're all these, like, entrepreneurs who um, are our own brand, blah, 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 you know, which is fine, you know, I'm not dissing on America right now, but it means that we all are on our own little, I, I always think of like David Foster Wallace, how he was like in the house by himself, reading, not watching TV, hanging out, you know, like just sort of like on his own individual journey. And, you know, he did connect to, I feel like that's like a classic sort of Western or American story is just when you're like, on your own sort of tangent, like, making work, and working, and doing your thing, and expressing your identity, and, like, I'm doing right now, basically. Uh, I'm not at, like, some festival, or I'm not hanging out with my family. I'm making a collage for YouTube, you know, for a bunch of people that I don't necessarily know, or, um, it's an interesting placement. It just, like, wants to be there. Um, 
but I want to go to India to experience what Robert A. Johnson described. He said that he was a rare per type, which is like emotional, uh, introverted. And I see that in myself. I think I might be that too. And he said they never felt like truly sort of like at home until he um, went to India and felt what it's like to be like You know, basically, in a country that reflects who you are. And there's this, you know, the spirituality. Like, you find an anthill in India, you put a f flower to bless it. You know, you think of it as a blessing. And, you know, that's kind of what my photography style is. And, you know, I use all this ephemera as a, um, as a way to, in to integrate it and to appreciate, like, a lot of things, like, um, normal everyday objects. I kind of feel like he needs to be, like, highlighted more, because now that we have this, um, now that we have all this materials, I want it to be, like, he opens up and he sees underground, there's all this, like, awesome stuff that he's, like, super stoked about. So I think I'll, uh, start with this. He's like, whoa, dope. And then maybe even I can highlight him more by just drawing an outline around him to separate him from the background. Maybe I'll regret this, but it's fine. I don't, this isn't really about regret or mistakes. about me enjoying my time and thinking about stuff and sharing it. And, you know, I've been making a will, or I have a will. It's just more like for fun, you know, because like I don't really have stuff. I don't have anything to like pass on or inheritance or like children or anything, but uh, I think of my legacy or my will as this sort of just experience that I'm trying to provide for people while I'm alive of, like, just the joy of life, you know, and just trying to appreciate that, and I don't fear death in the way that, <laughs> I realize that this is, like, getting kind of deep or whatever, but I don't fear death in the way that I would have before I read Eckhart Tolle's book. What do you think about, like, he, like, finds it under a mushroom? Is that cool? Or is it just better how it is? What if he finds it under the butter mushroom? Or is it just a distraction? If I do use this, I think it'd be best to, um, kind of, like, muddle it up a little bit, but I'm liking it. And I was going to put, like, words, because then a lot of them, I'll, I'll show you a slideshow after this, but I was going to put words, like, dope or you know because in the other ones I put like cool but uh I think this one it's pretty self-explanatory he's happy about it so yeah One cool thing is that I bought these little stamps. Like, uh, this is the bird one.
bird one's kind of cute. This is the uh, screen. I think I could use these a little bit. How about a, put a bird here? Why not? And then I also have a pill, an arrow, hearts, hearts, maybe hearts, just one, sure, here's the hearts. And then there's a pointer. Maybe I could, uh, I'm thinking of like an exit, like a, uh, exit in this like bomb shelter that he found or something. It's like pointing like this way to the bathroom or something. Great. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, I want to make more like this. So if you're interested, check it out, share it, love it. Existentialism. Okay. Courtesy of Jean-Paul Sartre. Courtesy of Henry Cartier-Bresson. Courtesy of Blake's Basement. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. Akuna Matata, you know? And stay around for the uh, rest of the postcards. Bye.